respected chairperson, elders, and my dear friends. A very good evening to you all. Today, I take this opportunity to stand before you to speak on the topic environment and the young generation. By environment, we mean the surrounding around us, namely natural, social and cultural. God has given this wonderful world to us. It is our duty to protect it. As Gandhiji rightly said, nature has given us enough for our need, but not enough for our greed. But alas, we fail to realize that. We keep on meddling with the environment to reap for our own artificial comfort. By pollution, we mean land, water, air and noise pollution. Now, let us see some different types of pollution. People cut down forests to build cities. If we go on doing this, then we will have to live on oxygen cylinders in the future. And there will be nothing for us to feed on. Because all other living things would die in the choking atmosphere. As plants are the main releaser of oxygen. It would also cause soil erosion. Factories are under big cause of pollution. They give out dust and smoke and also cause noise pollution. Land reclamation destroys the flora and fauna of the water around. Water pollution is caused by bathing of people and animals, washing clothes and utensils, and throwing poisonous wastes and chemicals from factories and industries. Gas and nuclear power station pose a great hazard for all living things, including mankind. We are comfort loving, increasing use of cars and other luxury items like air conditioners and more CFCs into the air. It is feared that by the 22nd century, global temperature will increase by 6 degrees. Global warming will raise the level of water in rivers and will cause more forest fires, storms and floods. We, the young generation, has a great role to play in shaping up a cleaner world to live in. There are many ways in which we can protect this world of ours. To name a few, setting up more non-government organizations, NGOs and civil societies, promoting cleaner environment. More and more youths should join in these NGOs. Special attention should be paid to the unsustainable consumption rates among all the richer segments in all countries, especially the developed ones. Holding more youth festivals, competitions, seminars and private discussions related to the environment to promote awareness among teachers, parents and local authorities including more environment related topics in the academic curricula, electing environment friendly leaders. Think outside the bomb should be the mantra of the new generation. The new mantra should be the resolution of conflict to discourage any form of nuclear arm. Educating farmers in modern methods of farming and making them aware of the dangers of soil erosion and using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Building more and more green cities and planting more trees to help reduce pollution. Treating factory and city wastes before releasing them into water bodies. Big companies may be convinced through opinion making by listening to consumers regarding adhering to rules and regulations 
related to the environment, promoting research and development in new technologies that is environment friendly. We, the young generation, should avoid all synthetic or artificial products and eat no junk food. We should not follow alien culture that does not fit into our society and culture. So friends, let us keep in mind, God has given this wonderful world to us. We should protect it without a fuss. We should make a conscious effort to stay closer to nature to ensure a better and brighter future. Thank you and Happy New Year. Thank you, Divyo. It's nice to see children of your age take up these threats seriously and uh, finding ways to prevent environmental pollution.